Hello, welcome to Straight Talk Africa. It's Wednesday, March 6th. I am Shaka Sali. And I am Maria Madiello, your STA social media reporter. The presidential race for the Kenyan State House is extremely tight, as Kenyans on the continent and abroad await the final results of Monday's election. And coming up later in our STA inbox, you, our audience, have weighed in on the presidential election through your emails and Facebook comments, and we'll reveal some of them ahead on Straight Talk Africa. But first, election officials say a network overload is to blame for the slow tally of votes from the closely watched presidential election. VOA's Gabe Joslo has more from the capital, Nairobi. Voters began lining up in the early morning hours at this polling station in Gatundu. Huge turnout across the country overwhelmed polling stations, and many, like Lucas Nganga, waited hours to vote. Uh, this is uh, the first election after the inauguration of the new constitution. And this is where the democracy is going to work because it's a majority that's going to decide for the next government. With the new constitution in effect since 2010, Kenyans are, for the first time, voting for new elected positions, including senators, governors, and women's representatives. But the main focus is on the presidential race. Presidential candidate Uhuru Kenyatta voted in Gatundu Monday. Mr. Kenyatta is facing charges at the International Criminal Court that he helped organize the violence that erupted after the last election in 2007. He said this election should be about peace. Kenya will be there after this election, and it is for all of us to understand that and to understand that peace and our unity as a nation is the most important and critical aspect. Any issues that one may have, there is due process, there are the courts and everything else, which we should follow as opposed to um, inciting our supporters one way or another. In Nairobi, another presidential candidate, Prime Minister Raila Odinga, also cast his ballot. He and Mr. Kenyatta are neck and neck in recent polls, but both predict victory. I am very confident that uh, we are going to win these elections in the first round. An early morning attack on police threatened to disrupt voting in Coast Province. Several police officers were killed in the violence, blamed on a separatist organization that has boycotted the vote. Now the vote count is underway at the National Election Center in Nairobi. The results are being sent in from polling stations around the country and are being tabulated here. When all the votes are in, a winner will be announced. If no candidate in the presidential race gets more than 50 percent of the vote, it will go to a runoff scheduled for April. Gabe Jocelyn, VOA News, Nairobi.